Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? Um, you know, um, when you are working with ashing, like um, you have an object that you ashed and you want to identify that object. You know, um, for surveyors, most times we ash building, so let's use building as an example. So you carried out a detailed survey of a particular area and then you have several buildings. You know, you can generalize it as in cartography, you can generalize. But when you want to identify that, okay, this is the hostel, this is the administrative block, this is the box, this is the chapel, this is the, how would I say, uh, this is the bank, this is the hospital, this is the school, this is, um, you know, any other building fission or any other building that you want to identify by its name. So how do you do it after you've asked it? So that's what we are going to show you today on this video. All right, so um, there's actually a video on the channel on how to ask. So there will be the link to that video on the description section. Please just find that video so that you can have um, the, what I say, the complete explanation on how we explained or, yeah, on how we explain how you are going to work, how you are going to ask a particular feature or object. So, but for this video, we are just going to run through it. So, you always use a polygon, but in this case, let's use a rectangle, as I just said. So, let's say we have a rectangle here, and this is the building that we keep. You know, most times, buildings are not always rectangular, so no matter the um, shape it has, it's a pentagon, hexagon, no matter how it is, it may be regular or irregular. So, you come to what? You come to Ash. You click on Ash. Then the dialog box comes up, and then we have the Ash and Gradient. So, you do what? You click on add pick point then you select the object you know you will have to use a polygon fissure yes like a fissure that you drill with um, a polyline or in this case like the rectangle are we together so we click it and we say enter so the explanation is actually on the on the um, how would i say actually on the video that um, you can see the link in the description section so let's say we change the angle to um, 30 degrees and then let's say the scale to let's say um let's say we have um, um let's say we have 45 and then okay let's now preview how it will come up still fair good so this is the preview on how it's going to play so we say enter we right click by entering that you have actually accepted what you've accepted the ash okay now the next thing is now you want to type the name of this building. Let's say this is a bank. So how do you now type bank on it? So you can just come to what? You can come to this uh, multi-line text. Then you come on the building or on the fissure. Then you call, let's say you type. So let's just change this to um, Time New Roman. And then let's say the text, let's make it three. So let's just say this is a bank. Good. So we say what? Say okay. Now you can see that this bank has actually been um, typed or has actually been typed on the building. But the ash line is actually interfering with the text. You can see now that the text is actually written on the ash line and it's not supposed to be so. Would I say cartographically or as it is being displayed, it's not supposed to be so. The text should have its uh, its way, not on the ash line. That's what we are going to show you how to do it, how to max the text so that the ash line will give way, or the ash lines will give way for the text to what to be displayed still on the word on the object. So we are going to use this um, command text max. You just type it on your keyboard text mask you click on enter they say them select text object to max so let's say we select the ash and then we also select the word the text then we click on enter you can now see that the ash line or the ash lines are actually giving way for the text to be well fitted in the object you know presenting this or let's say the presentation of this is actually better or would i say more aesthetically pleasing than when the text was actually written on the on the fissure that is going on the ash line so 
to the basic that is say the basic con the basic concept of this um, text map is for you to be able to type or for you to be able to write a text on an object in that it does not go across or it does not go on yes it does not appear on the ash line that you've actually um, designed or generated on your object and um, we believe this um, explanation is uh, quite enough for how to do or how to write text on what on your ash so as i said earlier the the video on how to ash is actually on the channel we'll leave the link to that video on the description section please don't forget to look at the support details on how to support the channel because it's actually very important to us i know some person will say okay what about if you don't want to use rectangle as we said earlier you can actually use what you can use polyline so let's say we pick polyline as the case may be we pick polyline and then we just made a let's say a rather irregular shape and then we have something like this let's say it's the building it's the same thing you go to what you go to ash you click on what add or pick point select enter and you continue as we said it so the reason why we use the rectangle is because the rectangle is actually a polygon and it actually looks like or oh yeah it depicts what a building or any other feature that looks like a building so thanks for coming to class we hope you found solution to this particular solving problems and um, please subscribe to the channel if you're coming to the channel for the first time you've always been there with us thanks for always staying by and always watching our videos and please don't forget to support us it's very very important to us so we'll see you again on the next video until then keep being good surveyors geomatic engineers architects builders uh, GIS experts you know the build and um, build professionals we are so we are so many of you are so much yes yeah all right now have a nice time we'll see you on the next video Take care. Bye.